Okay, for the music theory in Open the Light, they are using primarily the major seventh chord. So it's the C major chord with the added major seventh note. And you get this. Has a very, they say it has a very romantic sound or wistful sound. And it kind of can be era specific in certain combinations. So you could place it in the late 70s, early 80s, along with, you know, Carol King using seventh chords in, in just about everything. So the way it's a little more era specific, though they still use seventh chords all, all the time today. Um, is the arpeggiation of it. And you found that in the film Idaho Transfer, in the Idaho Transfer theme, you heard the arpeggiation of the seventh chord. So I'll play a little bit of that. And so Boards of Canada has taken the C here on the bottom and put it up on top and then arpeggiated it. So you have... Now in Ready, Let's Go, we talked about the add four. So if you added four to the C, you had that feel to it. And they did a little bit of that here by using the four in the melody. So if you put that with the seventh chord, so. And then the melody goes. So there's your four again. And then it goes. Same thing, you got the add four feel and plus the seventh chord. Then it goes to the chorus or second portion. That's very interesting, isn't it? That combination of the dominant seventh, right? in the bass. So the dominant seventh would be the flat seven. So they, they've been using the seventh chord. Now they use the flat seventh in the bass with the C. And a little quiz question. What song from the album Tomorrow's Harvest uses that same combination. Nothing is real, right? It's in a different key, though. I think it's in... B flat, so it would be an actual song, Nothing is Real, something like, um, yeah.
But it's the same idea as this song in the key of C with the dominant 7. So now let's just take a look at it track by track, and I'll let you see what went into it. So the song begins with the arpeggiation, and I used the Jupiter 8V for that. Let me solo that track out. I have the auto filter being modulated both the frequency and resonance being modulated by these two LFOs. So you get that nice pattern of resonance changing and filter changing. Then you have the nice brass sounds that come in. So I've got four different tracks of brass. And then I did the EP sounds. I did uh, one completely dry EP. I'll let you hear that. Of course, it has the. These two are grouped, and it has uh, an auto pan on on both. And then I have a distorted EP sound. Let me let you hear a little of that. I'm only distorting certain notes, select notes, so that I don't get too much. That's what they sound like together. And that's how it was made. I hope you enjoyed my analysis, and I'll see you in the next video.